What up, IDS Mob? Harry Wilmington here. Welcome to Harry Dating Combos. And on today's show, we're going to be answering once and for all the question if a woman invites you out on a date, who pays? And I got a question from a guy that wants to know what the answer to this is for future reference. So we're going to get into his question. By the way, guys, if you have questions you want me to answer on this show, leave comments below or write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Also, go to my website to check out my ebooks, audiobooks, and programs designed to help you out. Subscribe to this channel, like the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into his question. So, this guy says, a question for future reference. If she plans the date, do I pay? I don't mind paying, but I also don't want to fall into the trap of looking like a simp. So first I'll say, you don't have to be paying for a date to look like a simp. Like there are plenty of other things that you can do on a date with a woman that will make you look like you're eager or desperate or trying to be needy of her approval. So taking the money part out, you could still appear that way. And so that's why it's good for you as a guy to just in general, learn what things attract women and what make you appear more masculine to them and what things make them head for the hills, all right? But to answer the question, so, This is a long-standing question that people have because as a guy, you don't want to upset her. You're trying to make sure that she's having a good time and that she's, you know, building a positive image of you. But does that also mean now that you have to pay for every single outing you guys do? And more importantly, what if she's the one coming to you? Like, you know, on those first few dates, obviously on this channel, I say if you're the one asking her out on dates and taking her out, then it's just a good course of action to pay. I know there are people that will disagree with that. And hey, however you run your dating life and it's working for you, keep doing that. I found I typically plan low cost dates. So therefore I'm not opposed to paying. If I'm paying five bucks for a comedy show or 20 bucks for a meal at a restaurant, no harm, no foul, you know? Um, But suffice to say, there should come a point where if the woman's building enough interest and she's realizing the effort that you're putting in, then she of her own accord is going to want to reciprocate that effort, right? And so she may come to you and say, hey, so-and-so, I've been having a great time on these dates, and so you know what? I want to take you out. And guys get stuck because they're like, okay, is it, one, is this a trick? Because a lot of guys don't even get to the point where a woman's actually willing to offer paying. And then also this question becomes, but Does she actually want that to happen? And are you going to be docked any kind of points for allowing her to pay for the date, even if she's the one suggesting it? So here's what I learned a long time ago. And it actually came at a time in my life where I was being the nice guy and I was consistently turning down women's efforts to try to show me that they liked me as much. You know, I was that guy that I would do a favor for a female friend and then she'd want to return the favor and I'd be like, no, 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 don't do that. I'm just doing this from the goodness of my heart. And I found I built resentment. And it come to find out, it's like, oh, I was building resentment because I actually got upset that I was putting forth all the effort and they were showing none. But if I was being honest, I was turning away their efforts. And so my mom taught me something very important. She said, when you're giving of yourself, you're being a blessing to others. And sometimes they wanna bless you back to show that they have thanks for what you did, but also because it makes them feel good. And so when I was going out there doing nice things for people, I was basically giving them the blessing of my time and my efforts. When I would turn around and reject that, then what it said to them is, you're not important enough to me for me to accept your blessings and therefore I don't want them. And that's actually an insult. And I stress this because even in the dating realm, as guys, we're made to believe that it's all on us and you know, women want us to do all the things and they don't wanna do anything. But if you are honest with yourself, like I had to be honest with myself, a lot of that comes from there was a point early on where that woman wanted to do something for you and you turned it away. You said, no, 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 I'm just being good. I I don't need your, your thing. I'm doing it for the goodness of my heart. I don't want you to think that you owe me whatever. And we're coming at it from that angle versus the angle of, wait a minute, this woman recognizes that I did some nice stuff for her and all she wants to do in kind is return the favor. How much of an a-hole am I gonna be if I turn that down? These days, I have no problem with women coming and saying, hey, I wanna take you out, hey, I want to, you know, take us to dinner. I want to take us to whatever, and it's on me. Now, as a guy initially, I will say it does feel weird early on 
because you're thinking one is the trick and two also this feels like a weird dynamic because if I'm the guy and I'm supposed to lead, is it going to be like I'm not leading if I let her pay for the thing? Don't look at it like that. Look at it as she respects your efforts and the law of reciprocity is very real. If you're doing for somebody, they're going to eventually feel as though they want to do back for you in kind to keep things balanced. This is why with delivery drivers, we feel obligated to tip. They came out all this way to drop off our food. The least we could do is give them a little extra for their time and effort. It's the law of reciprocity. And that gets thrown off balance when only one of you is giving. So if you're constantly paying for the meals, if you're constantly coming up with the date ideas, and then she comes to you to try to do the same thing, and you're like, oh no, I don't need that. That is throwing things off balance, and it can make the woman actually feel weird, and it can make her feel like you don't appreciate her and the effort she's trying to put forth. You know, a lot of guys complain about having to do all this stuff for women, but we really are sometimes our worst enemy. We really are the guys that sometimes think, in order to be masculine, I can't let the woman do anything. I'm gonna turn down her money and her suggestions for a date and all this other stuff, and that could be a huge hindrance to you. So I would say, ultimately, it's like this, right? Let's say you guys are dating, and she says like, hey, we should try such and such a place sometime. That's not really a date ask, so that's one of those situations where she's probably just throwing that out there so you know examples of things that she wants to do on dates, but she's still leaving it up to you to actually plan that date and therefore pay for it. If she comes to you directly and says, hey, so-and-so, I wanna take you out. I found a great place. I wanna make sure that I'm showing you a good time. That indicates that she is more than likely trying to pay because she wouldn't, for the most, I, in my experience, I've found women are typically suggesting taking you out to then make you pay. That's not typically how this goes. That said, I will say this also, right? Is that because I live in a, I live a very simple date in life, which is if you're coming to me saying you wanna do a thing, I'm taking assume, assumptions that you are gonna be paying for some stuff, right? This is bottom line. But I also look at what efforts up to this point have I put forth. If I feel as though the efforts I put forth have been more than enough, and the money that I've spent and the time that I put, put aside to plan out things or whatever, then if she's coming to me asking me to take me out on a date, I'm not even going to suggest that I pay. I'm gonna suggest, I'm not suggesting anything, I'm going, to, I'm going to assume that she's planning this knowing the efforts that I put in and that therefore it's cool for me to take a break from having to pay this time. Now, this is also a good thing to go into in terms of looking at the women that you're dating and seeing what kind of person they are because a woman that would put out there, hey, I wanna take you out, and then it's making you pay, that is a very selfish woman that doesn't understand the law of reciprocity, and as such, she's gonna be suggesting, hey, I wanna, I wanna take you out to a $200 restaurant, and then expecting you to pay, and then it's gonna get mad if you don't pay. And in those situations, you know what? I'm totally fine with the woman getting mad at me because I would rather her get mad at me now for assuming that I would pay for everything, including when she said she's gonna take me out, than to stick around and then just be like, okay, anytime I suggest a date, I gotta pay. Anytime she suggests a date, I gotta pay. And she's never gonna give me any reciprocity and I know that's gonna build resentment in me. Like I remember I went out with a girl one time that we went out for New Year's I told this story before in here. We had a great time. The next day, she calls me up and asks me to go on a date to a restaurant and I'm like, for like breakfast. And I'm like, oh, snap. Like, she's inviting me out. This is amazing. We get there. She orders like one of the most expensive meals on the menu and then is expecting me to pay for the meal. And by the way, guys, in this dating game, unfortunately, there are women out there that you won't be aware are using you until you're in the situation and it's already too late. So in those situations, I don't recommend like trying to fly off the handle or being mad or being like, well, no, you gotta pay your app. I recommend you take it as a loss. Be like, you know what? She got me. It is what it is. Pay the money, get out, and don't ask her out anymore. I found that's way easier to do. But those type of situations will help you to see the women that are in this to be in a true partnership and wanna show you that they care by also giving you reciprocity and the women that are just users, abusers, and gold diggers, at which point you'll know to get out of that. But that starts with when she says, I wanna take you out, just go on the date and assume because she said those words that she's paying. If she gets to the end and she's like, hey, so, you know, um, you're gonna take your card out or whatever, just know she is not a long-term prospect and get out. Like, don't pass go. All this to say though, yeah, if she's asking you out, don't assume it's a simp move to say yes, 
I'd love for you to take me out. Let me know where you're gonna take me and I'll be ready for it. And then don't think that because you're not paying money that you're a simp. Again, you can be simping without paying money, you know? But to assume that you need to reject a woman's offer to take you out to not, to not look like a, like a simp, I got news for you, guy. There are women out there that actively want to pay for your stuff. How do I know that? I've been the beneficiary and I have female friends that are like, oh, I want to show him that I care about him with this guy that I'm dating. So I was thinking of taking him to like this four star restaurant and just like, you know, paying for everything and blah, 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 blah. Like women that have a good head on their shoulders that are about trying to get with their man and be an active partner want to pay. But you got to figure out if that's true or not by when she suggests it, just letting her pay. Okay. Don't take it as anything against your masculinity. It'll be totally fine. So hopefully that answers your question. For the rest of you guys, again, you can leave your questions down below in the comments. You can write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Also, if you like the advice being given, consider leaving a cash at, at dollar sign Harry Wilmington. I greatly appreciate any kind of monetary support you guys want to show. And you can always go to introvertdatingsuccess.com to check out my eBooks, audiobooks, and other various programs that are sure to give you a leg up in the dating world as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. 